Okay, the sixth factor is error of mass. And when you're doing formulas and so forth, the ma uh, mass is the proper term to use. For common usage, you can think of this as the weight of the error. There is a, a technical difference between weight and mass. But, so just think of this as the weight of the error. Now, the weight of the error, all else equal, is proportional to the penetration you're going to get. And when I say all else equal, this is assuming you've got a structural integrity, perfect flight, and FOC, mechanical advantage. You've got everything going for you down to this point, and then you're adding extra weight. And the more weight you add, the more penetration you're going to have. Think of it like a train going five miles an hour and a semi going 25 miles an hour. Which is harder to stop, and which is going to do more damage if it hits something? The train is so much heavier, it's going to go a lot further, and it's going to do a lot more damage. The same thing happens with your air. It's going to continue to fly through the tissues as long as there's forward movement of that error. And that forward movement is going to be derived from the speed of the error and the weight of the error. But the speed of the error is going to deteriorate. Every time that error moves forward, it loses some of that speed. It never loses its mass. That weight of the error is going to be the same when the error comes to complete stop. So the more of your error force that is vested, or the more the error's momentum that is vested in the weight of the error, the better it's going to penetrate. So if you're putting a lot of kinetic energy out there with speed, giving you a lot of momentum, that is not going to translate into penetration to the degree that the heavier error is going to do.